You're so excited. I know, I'm for super this. excited. Yeah. yeah, I bet. Yeah. So, okay, we've been talking about uh, we're going to do a full bag fitting for me. I don't know how many. This is part one of. Yeah, to be determined. TBD. Yeah, there's going to be quite a few. Most people, when they come in for a fitting, uh, they bring their current gear. Mm. How much current gear do you have? <laughs> what I've done is filtered a lot of equipment out, and I still have about 20 clubs in the bag. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a shit. This show. is going to be a lot of work. Here's yeah. what's up. Yeah. Um, the driver that I really started to, to get some results with last year is in the bag, which, which is a Rogue Triple Diamond LS. Yeah. With a Brava, I had a ton of speed with it. Yep. And then I hurt my back. And mm -hmm. uh, kind of so, climbing the mountain ever since. Yeah, yeah, I've been working on getting healthy, and my it's a goddamn shit show. So here's what's going on. I've got two drivers that I'm kind of bringing to the table. Um, I've got a five wood, the new ping five wood that I really like. That I don't, I might not change that. Now the 430 Max with the old Acra shaft. Yeah. Um, that's been performing really well. And then we're kind of going to get into some, <laughs> there's so much stuff in here, some comparisons. So Mark, Mark and I have argued about this for a long time. For a while. Um, and um, I, I've always liked driving irons because they look cool in the bag. Yeah. I generally perform better with hybrids. However, I always I do get the wild one with the hybrid or a cold top out of nowhere. It's usually weird when it really matters. Yeah, he does. So it's like we're gonna try and figure that out. Yeah. I, and the thing that I want to like, so I'm fitting you. Obviously, you have a very large input into it. But the questions that I would ask you is, okay, so between those two drivers, why do you like the Callaway? Fast. So, it's fast. Okay, so there's some speed to it. You yeah. found some consistency, obviously, or else yeah, yeah. you wouldn't have played it. Um, what do you like about the ping driver? I can find it after I hit it. Okay, that's important too. So uh -huh. it's not not as fast, but maybe straighter. Yeah, in theory. Well, the Brava shaft really did a lot with performance. Yeah. Um, but now, with the the back issues I've had, it's kind of a new ball game. For so. sure. Okay. Okay, and then and then I would say like fairway wood. I mean, you're a again download people into your game, right? You're you hit a fairway wood pretty consistently, but your miss is going to be low on the face, or you mm -hmm. top it, right? Mm -hmm. Like and and as a very good player like Matt is, um, you can't top a three wood in the middle of the fairway. That can't that can't happen. So I do that often. I've had many conversations with him about this. Um, randomly, you're good round, even par, one under, and you top it on a par five, and you make ten, and that ruins the rest of your round. So that's something that we need to figure out why that's happening, whether yep. it's, a, it's a swing thing or obviously a fitting thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next part of it is, is he has, I'll let you explain how many sets of irons you have options for and why you like them. That's none of your business. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's, here's the thing. <laughs> During our years of, of having a fitting studio, I've had the pleasure of being able to test the nicest, coolest gear, and I have access Would to agree. a lot of really nice toys. Yeah. Now, part of my fault, I'll admit, my fittings have involved a little too much of my ego. Maybe. And maybe I didn't always play what would be best for me. So this is going to be a fitting, especially with the irons, yeah. where we're going to go purely on performance. Yeah. And... I mean, there is a blend. It's got to look good and whatnot, but but it's it's got to perform better. Anything performs well when I hit it on the center of the club face. We're talking about what's going to perform better day after day. That's the thing. When I'm my back is sore. Yeah. When it's when I'm pouring rain that day when and it's, it's, it's cold. Rain. Exactly. These are the things, right? Yeah. So, and uh, yeah, I think my I my, gotta park my ego. Well, that's the thing is my fight with him is drivers are fair. Like I can I can get the driver out of his bag, right? He doesn't have a personal connection with the driver heads. But I actually don't switch drivers that often, shockingly. You, you don't, no. But it's it's not like you have a love affair with a specific driver company or anything like that. The irons is kind of another story. You have some pretty like big personal Okay. 
how can you preferences no i get it i mean okay you guys at home i'm sure you'd understand too right like it's a beautiful set of mc501s from mira they've and been it's copper i know and there there's not really many out there like that um paired with a beautiful ct115 oban shaft um lovely combination right i'm sure anybody at home would go yeah I, i'd love those right but should it be the thing that he plays golf with competitively and that's the conversation that we're having, right? I get why you like these. I like them. I think they're awesome. They're super cool, yeah. right? And then same thing with the, the other sets, right? You've got a couple other reasons why those are so personal to you. So um, a very, yes. So, right. okay. So, so it's like, at home. if I'm going to run through like my order of favorites and it's really hard because it's like, what's your favorite child? <laughs> but another set, KM700 from Mira, super, super cool. Beautiful iron. Limited iron. Made by the master Mira himself. Yeah. It's got his stamp on it. Like there's a, it's very, very cool. I get it. I mean, yeah. and the thing is, I think like your, your fight is always, okay, I, I love pretty and I like blades and I like the way they look like everybody else. Yeah. Cause when I show up to the course with them in my bag, I look like you I feel cool. play golf and then I tap in for 78 and it's like, oh man. Yeah. Well, and, and the thing is, is I, I mean, I look at these and go, because you're in a weird place, right? You like the pretty, but on most days you're good enough to hit the pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on the odd day you're not. And it's real bad. And that's and that's why my we're having this conversation. Really bad. Yeah. Mark's so I, bad is still pretty good. My bad is a shit soup. That's that's not the, thing. the good kind. No, exactly. So that's why we're having this this kind of discussion. That's why I'm fitting him for stuff because he keeps telling me, okay, as a coach, he wants me to help him with his swing and all this stuff and great, and he wants to play more competitive golf. And I think this is one of the things that's kind of letting him, not this specifically, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, my ego's his, in the way. His, it okay. is. I know. So now another three. spectacular golf club. Absolutely. Ping Blueprint. There it is. Uh, by the way, what shaft's in it? Old Band CT 150. Same, next. same, yeah. Beautiful set of really irons. I really liked it, feels great. Those irons are actually made by Mira yeah. for Ping, and there's a story there. And a spectacular iron, small compact head. You can't fake it with those as well. No, it's, it's true. I mean, again, not super popular, so that's why Matt considers playing it, yeah, but yeah, definitely a tiny little blade. I mean, Tony Fina, who won on the weekend, plays those, and he might be a little better ball striker than you, but that's not my okay. case. This is something nobody's seen. What you got here? Um, my, I call them the muck. I made them myself. I ground them out of a... He sure did. It looks like he did. Yeah, I ground them. I ground them. I stamped them. I, um... You proto them. Yeah, I mean... Here's the thing. Here's the thing. They're less shitty than you'd expect. 100% true. 100% true. And they do true. perform. But you, they're blades. The thing is, I mean, you hit... The, you built these things with... A blueprint of what you know and loved in the past. True. So it's not like you invented something new. You kind of took what you liked about certain iron yeah. heads and implemented it in a, into yeah. a club. And you actually did a pretty good job. Not bad at all. Yeah. Like, okay, so again, he those likes are on the, the rough look. I mean, again, something that has very different turf interaction, but he hit them really well outside. And I, I this is going to be an interesting yeah. one. We got to give it a chance. I'm going to have hey, a tough time doing that. What in those? <laughs> Old Band CT Old Band CT 115. So I justify all of my stupid shit. By saying, well, at least it's the same shaft in them, so I know what's going on. Yeah. So then this one, make sure the camera can see it. Oh, yeah. Uh, another homemade set, mm -hmm. but I tried to actually go, okay, I'm going to make, like, it's got a cavity. They're a little bit more forgiving. And they're more forgiving, and they're Oban CT-115X, so yeah, it's the same shaft. Same thing. So, like, a lot of the feels for me are, are the same because it's the same shaft and similar swing weights. and. Yeah. I think, and, and he's right, yeah. he's right. And the fitter in me goes, yes, but the, 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 the ex-professional golfer in me goes, it doesn't matter. You have to develop a relationship with the golf clubs that you have. And I mean, Tiger Woods has played a putter for 25 years because, Pretty good. It, it, right? But he knows exactly every spec about it, whether he thinks about it or not. And when you switch irons every couple of weeks or whatever it might be in the summer, you lose that connection that you have with your club. So I think the thing for me is, is I want him to play the best golf he possibly can. I want everybody that walks into the Smash Factory doors to play the best golf. I have a vested interest in his game because he's 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 tarnishing the uh, the, the the Smash Factory name out there. So I have to make sure that he plays good enough golf that he doesn't embarrass us, right? Um, exactly. So I think that that's where I come from. I come from someone who 
I've always blamed myself, not the equipment. And I understand as a fitter, equipment is a huge proponent yeah, of no, what's going to I blame gonna... Mark every time. It's true. So I'm used to it now. Yeah, um, yeah. And all of you people that come to the Smash Factor, I tell you, just blame Mark. It's always you, can, you can blame me. I, I'm, I'm here to help for sure. So, so from the irons, those are all my favorites. So you have four, you've got five sets here. Five sets of irons. Yeah, and don't worry about how many sets didn't make it in. But That's true. There's also some other really cool ones that I wanted. But I don't know if you guys are going to want to watch for that long. And then we'll talk wedges. These are a couple homemades as well. Yeah. Uh, I only play with, like, I play with a pitching wedge and then a, some sort of weird gap. Yeah, you don't so have a traditional 51, setup, I would say, for, for wedges. That's yeah, something yeah. we're going to discuss as well. Yeah, yeah, we'll fitting. play around with we're that. We're going to go through all of it and why he has those setups and, and what, he, what kind of shots he hits. And I think, yep. again, this is going to be an in-depth... Obviously, we're going to spend hours and hours together. Normally, a fitting for, for Smash Factory is two hours, so a lot of this will get done, right? I mean, yeah. we will have this conversation with, with customers, and we will try and kind of download into their game and figure out why they have equipment, what they struggle with, and, and in my mind, what's going to work. So The other thing to note is a fitting is two hours. Full bag is not two hours. No, no. That's usually like two components of a bag. For sure. Know. Driver, maybe wedges or irons yeah. and fairways or something like that. So yeah. keep that in mind that if you are booking a fitting, two hours is not no, enough do, time to do a full bag properly. Do two sessions. I mean, it's, it's, it's better on your back and your hands and yeah. your, your fatigue factor and all that stuff. And it just gives us more data. And I think the thing for me, especially as a fitter, is the last thing I'm scared of is more data. And I think a lot of people go, oh, you hit it. Well, three times, that's the driver. I want to see you hit it 100 times if I can. Obviously, that's not going to happen. But more data gives us more information, gives us a better fit. Yep. So. Uh, we will do putter. That yeah, that one. something later on because it's going to be very in-depth. That one depth, I have a personal totally. connection to as well. So, I mean, I definitely. We'll I, talk I, about that later. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that uh, behind the curtain for now. Yep. Um, but again, obviously, Matt's going to be a, a difficult fit for me because he's one of my best friends. He can <laughs> talk shit to me if he wants to, and I will probably talk shit back to him so that's where it's going to be different than your your typical fitting but i think you're going to find a lot of cool information i think if you watch this series you're going to see a snapshot of what we do every day or what i do every day um obviously with less this difficult people but it'll give you some good information on what you should focus on and what you should want your fitter to kind of help you with so in my defense i'm not always as difficult to, as mark says no he's not he's not there are Times when I'm nice. Like eight percent of the time, he's an absolute gem. I mean, it's he's... but every time. <laughs> well, but again, Don't so wreck my stuff, man. Sorry, sorry, you got enough of it. It's you can expensive. replace it. But again, so I mean, we're not going to make this video go too long. But we appreciate you guys, and obviously subscribe and, and help us out with comments. No, don't and, subscribe. And, You're not going to like it. That, well, yeah, this is for me and Matt to watch. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, we do this for ourselves. Yeah, exactly. So, so you're anyway. going to see what goes on again. This little meeting here is something that does happen when you start a for sure a fitting when you come in with mark the first thing he does is we'll talk about your game look at your golf bag yeah your bag's probably not a complete gong show like mine <laughs> you know, probably have 29 clubs yeah yeah but hopefully you guys uh get a feel for what we're doing and understand what we're doing with the gear and exactly um feel free to uh you know send any comments and insults Mark. yeah it, it, you know what it helps us right it does it does help grow the channel so as much as it's cheesy we do appreciate the support so it does it does help this get out to more viewers and more yep. eyes um, and make us continue to make more videos so yep. um, again enjoy it thanks guys we'll, we'll see you uh, soon we'll see you part soon. one done there you go thanks God, just pay attention i'm only gonna show you this once god damn it fuck god damn it christ sakes